Citizens, listen. I tell you, danger lurks all about us. Now, here's the story of an ordinary man. I've been working on the railroad. Who fell victim to a governmental structure that he loved but never understood. Listen well. This could have been you. Come all you taxpayers and listen to me well. I have a story that's very sad to tell. Tragic. About a victim of the system of legislative acts. They say Charlie cheated on his income tax. Now Charlie's been a good man most all of his life. He never even cheated on his wife. Oh no? A pillar of society, a credit to his folks. And he died before he tell the dirty joke. Charlie, Charlie, what did you do? Twenty-nine men are coming after you. You must be guilty of an awful crime if you're worth so much civil service time. Well, the trouble really started when he bought an old guitar, learned to play it like his favorite record star. Don Bowman. And when he made twenty dollars on an amateur show, he declared it so his uncle Sam would know. But the form that he used was a 1020 sheet. After five o'clock, that form is obsolete. And between the hours of 10 and 12, you use a W-2. But on the holidays, you file an L-O-Q. Charlie, Charlie walks through the town. Handcuffs on and his head hanging down. Disgrace and dishonored while friends turn their backs. Thinking Charlie cheated on his income tax. The judge at the trial said, I understand your plight. This time I'm going to make the sentence light. Bless you, Judge. Well, Charlie stood and faced the bench and shed a graceful tear as they let him off with only 90 years. Charlie, Charlie, victim of our time, never even understood the nature of his crime. A lesson to us all that we never can relax, lest they call us in for cheating on our income tax.